Wind Tunnel Aurora's Freeform UAD mode allows appraisers more flexibility and power when filling out reports. You stay on the keyboard more and grab the mouse less, helping you reduce your turn time and complete your reports that much faster. WinTotal's Freeform UAD mode even makes use of shorthand, so you don't have to remember exactly what every UAD abbreviation is or which letters need to be uppercase or lowercase. In short, Freeform mode gives control of the forms back to the appraisers that know UAD inside and out, making you faster than ever. In the standard UAD mode you're already familiar with, WinTotal takes what you put into the Dynamic Form Expansions, or DFEs, and combines the data in proper UAD format into the form field. Freeform mode is the reverse of that process. You type directly into a UAD field, and WinTotal parses out the answers into the right spots. Now that you know UAD inside and out, this, along with shorthand and abbreviations, will make you faster than ever. To turn on Freeform UAD mode, open the Configuration Settings window. In the Forms option, notice that there are now three UAD report options. The first two you're already familiar with, to always show the DFEs, or only to show the DFE if it's empty, incomplete, or in error. The new option, for Freeform mode, will only show the DFE if you use the keyboard shortcut control and enter while you're in that field. In freeform mode, you can type the exact UAD verbiage into the field or make use of freeform mode's shorthand to fill out your fields even faster. Let's take a look at each of the DFEs one at a time. In the subject sale and listing history, the field expansion contains a yes or no question. Without the DFE, you simply answer that right on the form. If the answer is yes, you'll need to put in days on market as well. Freeform mode is designed such that if you know UAD well enough, you can simply type your UAD formatted answer into a field. In this case, I can type directly into the field, DOM space 30, then a semicolon, then my comments. Since we're dealing with several fields that have comment sections that get parsed out, I'll use the phrase my comments each time to simplify my examples. In addition to typing the exact UAD formatting, Freeform mode has several abbreviations and shorthand rules that allow you to fill out the forms even faster and don't rely on you to get the UAD syntax correct every single time. For instance, if you forget to capitalize DOM, WinTotal will fix that. In fact, you can enter only the number and WinTotal will still parse out the DOM with the correct abbreviation. Notice, however, that you must use the semicolons in the right places to indicate where WinTotal is to parse your answer. Semicolons are critical to using freeform UAD mode. In the contract analysis field, again you'll check a box for a yes or no question. If yes, then you need to indicate the transaction type. You can type in the full UAD compliant response or you can make use of several abbreviations, SS for short sale, ARM or ALS for arm's length, just to name a few. Just don't forget the semicolon. When you leave the field, the text is properly formatted using the UAD compliant verbiage. For a full list of abbreviations for all DFE fields, see tech doc number 2020. The financial assistance field also has a yes or no question, but the comment field requires three entries this time, each separated by a semicolon. Start by putting in the number first no need to add the dollar sign. After the first semicolon, you can enter either yes or there, which is the first word in the required UAD phrase, and the full phrase is entered for you. And if you forget the second semicolon entirely, WinTotal again assumes no and adds the required semicolon for you. The view field is relatively simple, though you'll probably want to make copious use of the abbreviations. I know many appraisers that have trouble remembering the exact UAD abbreviation for golf course view, but typing just golf or even GLF will work in this field. It saves you time and you don't have to remember the exact UAD abbreviation. Don't forget to reference the tech doc for the full list. If you use an abbreviation that's not on the list, WinTotal assumes that you meant to choose other and are using the text as the description for other. 
The subject's condition field on page one is where the freeform mode abbreviations really shine, and you can save a ton of time. For this example, I'll use a C3, where the kitchen was updated eight years ago and the bathroom remodeled three years ago. I'll start by putting in the condition number. The C isn't necessary. After that, for my kitchen updated eight years ago, I'll put in K-U-8, then a semicolon to separate the term, followed by the bathroom info with B-R-3 for bathroom remodeled three years ago. I'll put the final semicolon and my comments in, and you can see how my abbreviations are transformed into the correct UAD parlance. Notice how even though I put in eight years for the kitchen, WinTotal knows that that fits into the six to 10 year time frame and puts in the text accordingly. If the kitchen or baths haven't been updated, you can just put no after the first dash in each instance. The data sources field handles days on market the same way the subject sale and listing history field does. Put in your source, followed by a semicolon, followed by the number. In the concessions field, use a shorthand abbreviation, a semicolon, and the number. The date of sale field will convert a standard date into the UAD required abbreviated date when you put the proper UAD abbreviation in front of it. So, if this contract date field populated from the comps database this way, which originally came from the MLS, I can simply put a C in front of it. For settled sales, you can enter the date for the contract if it's known, or put a UNK or even just U after the semicolon, which is the freeform shorthand for unknown. The location field is much like the view field, except with its own set of abbreviations. Start with the single letter, then a semicolon, then at least one abbreviation. Just like in the view field, golf gets converted, but this time to the location field's UAD specific abbreviation. Again, anything you put after the first semicolon that isn't a UAD or freeform mode abbreviation will be put into the other category. The quality and condition fields in freeform mode can be typed directly as well. Put in a number from 1 to 6, and WinTotal automatically adds the letter for you. And finally, in the basement fields, fill out the first line per UAD requirements. In the second line, only enter the rooms that you do have. For instance, if you have a rec room and a half bath only, enter those. WinTotal assumes the other two types don't apply and fills them in as zeros with the appropriate UAD abbreviations. So in conclusion, with freeform UAD mode, appraisers who are comfortable typing in UAD parlance can now work even faster. And don't forget your semicolons.